What's up guys and welcome to Tan Tennis channel. Um, today I'm not going to review any new rackets because I'm broke and I don't have any sponsor, right? But this is a special episode about should you lower your string tension. So basically um, I'm gonna play with a racket, one with uh, high tension and another one with lower tension. Um, the idea of this episode is that uh, most of the players, including me, are so afraid of reduce the tension because first we are strong, right? And low tension is not cool. Um, also, we think that we're gonna lose all the control and we will send all the balls to defense, not in the court. But from my experience, um, I've never heard anyone saying that, oh, I strung my racket too low, but most of the time they were complaining about, oh, I strung it too high, the string are harsh, uh, I hurt my arms, I hurt my wrist, um, I don't get enough power, etc, etc. So, out of curiosity, today I'm gonna uh, test um, both of them today. So, here I got two of my Blade 98, nice session. Um, the two of them have same spec and same swing weight when I bought them. Um, basically, uh, they are identical. Um, this one with the white grip, I strung it with Solingo 12 by Soft at 50 pounds, which is um, my normal tension that I play with. And this one with the purple grip, um, I strung it at 40 pounds, so 10 pounds lower, or about 20%. Same string. All right, let's go and see how it plays. Oh, before we go, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Okay, so first I play with a racket that's strung with my normal tension at 50 pounds. I will get into the 40 pounds racket later. We started with a half court warm up to get some sense of control and top spin and getting myself and my footwork ready. Today, I'm a little bit hungover from last night and yeah, I can feel myself being a little bit slower than usual. Okay, then we move to the baseline. Um, nothing special. The racket plays good as usual. Um, sufficient power and spin. The control is good. I can rip the ball from the back of the court. Um, getting good depth and net margin. Also getting good pace on both forehand and backhand wings. Um, the string has a good ball pocketing. Um, I feel pretty confident and solid with this setup on my ground strokes. I can control the ball very well and I don't have to worry that it will land behind the baseline at all. Okay, and the only downside is that my backhand has less pops, which means uh, lower power and pace than my forehand. Probably because I don't have the same precision to the sweet spot as I have on the forehand side. And then I move on to the second racket that has the lower tension at 40 pounds. First impression, it's not what I thought it would be at all. The feel and the character of the string is still there, but I can feel that the string pocket the ball longer and there are more string movement when hitting the ball. The comfort is better. I mean the comfort on the previous racket is okay, but on this one, it's easier on the arms of course. The power is a lot better. Um, when I hit with 60 to 70% of my power on this one, I think I can generate the same pace as probably 80% on the previous racket. I think the sweet spot is also a little bit bigger and it helps with my backhand a lot. On the control, which is the main key point that we want to look at, um, just look at how I play. Do you think it's uncontrollable? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I may have uh, sacrificed some of the control, but I don't think it's um, unacceptable. But one thing I don't like on this setup is that it kind of loses spin potential a little bit. Normally I control the depth of the ball with spin, but on this one I have to think uh, one more step 
about what I have to do with the ball, especially on half volley, uh, rising balls or low ball that you have to reach for it. When playing with normal tension, I only have to think about whether I will put it to the right or to the left, not to worry about overpower. But on this one, I have to pull myself back a little bit and try to generate extra top spin to make sure that it will land before the baseline. Okay, for the volley, um, it's a bit bouncier than high tension, but I think it's still in control. I can block the incoming ball pretty good. It has good touch, and once in a while, the ball flies out, but I don't feel like it's because of the string tampering it out, but rather it's my mistake on opening the racket face too much. Um, I don't have a good volley in general compared to the ground strokes. And lastly, we move on to the point plays. Um, the surf is good, I gain more power a little bit, but the directional control is pretty much the same. I can still place the ball in the direction that I want, um, to the left or to the right. The return is better than normal because I think short backswing can create more power than the high tension one. So it's pretty effective on the return. However, um, I have to remind myself to control the short powers on the ground strokes so that I don't make unforced errors on um, neutral shots. But once I settle in and get used to this setup, I think it was okay. My takeaway on this video is that do not afraid to lose your tension by a little bit. If you think your setup is too harsh and not comfortable, especially with the full bag poly string, lower it down by 2 pounds or even 5 pounds will definitely look better for you and your arms and you will not losing a significant amount of control. I'm not saying that you should lower them by 10 pounds like I did on this video, this is just to see the differences, but even with the 10 pounds lower, the racket still play pretty decent. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.